Hello, I'm Devika Choudhury from Elzix Foundation. Let's talk about what makes youngsters become successful adults. When we study adults and the leadership, we realize that only two out of 10 people are actually successful and happy. Why is this so? Let me explain this through a case that I have handled very recently. This young girl, 14 years of age, Aranya, came to me. Aranya was very hardworking. She was very diligent. And yet, she suffered from low self-confidence and low self-esteem. Our assessments revealed that um, while Aranya was a brilliant kid, however, she was very sensitive. So at any point of time, should something happen that would disturb her state of emotional balance, she would get into deep thinking, so much so that it would impact her everyday activities. She shared an event with me where she came up with this fantastic project idea. She shared it with a friend of hers and her friend said, hey, this sounds really fun. I want to do the same thing. Now, Aranya did not have the heart to tell her that, hey, listen, this is my idea and I don't want you to do it. On the contrary, she agreed to what her friend wanted. For days and weeks after that, Aranya was extremely unhappy and she would spend a significant time just thinking about it and just dwelling on it instead of productively working on the project. So clearly, Ananya came across as somebody who lived in the fear of losing her friend. She didn't want her friend to feel hurt and so she couldn't assert herself. Assertion need not necessarily always lead to aggression. It can be done through compassionate conversations. Our work with Aranya began with her identifying the set of emotions that she would go through under such situations. And these would all be negative emotions. So she would be upset, frustrated, annoyed, angry, overwhelmed. And these frustrations would lead her to various kinds of thoughts. Thoughts such as, oh, I wished I didn't tell her. Oh, my friend is going to be, you know, taking away my idea. What do I do? Feeling victimized is no solution. The second was to help her understand what were the options available to her in that kind of a situation. And the third was to use communication as a tool and put it out to her friend. These set of activities, while they sound very simple, are not necessarily easy to execute because it's, it involves changing one's habits. However, with repetitions, with practice, with uh, constant coaching, Aranya was able to be far more vocal than what she used to be. When we look at success, success is not just grades. Probably 50% of success would be grades, but the remaining 50% involves understanding these underlying issues and challenges that each one of us face. Some kids might be low on confidence, some may be overconfident. In either case, it leads to issues and challenges and problems. If these problems are not fixed while your kid is a teenager, they will lead to bigger problems as they become adults. Get in touch with us if you want to know more on how we work with teenagers.